Hey guys, it's Tina. My strap just fell down. <laughs> Why are my straps so loose? Like, seriously, this is short girl problems right here. I'm wearing a dress, but the straps are just too long. I'm just gonna tie a little knot at the back. Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out Coca-Cola makeup. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay updated with future videos that I post. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Tina underscore Yong. So the other day I was out shopping and I walked past the face shop and I saw that they did a collab with Coca-Cola. You know, they're doing things a little bit different. They're not collaborating with influencers or celebrities, they're collaborating with Coca-Cola, an all-time favorite. So I managed to grab a couple of items which I'll be trying out today. There's a Coca-Cola Oil Control Water Cushion Foundation. The color I got was V203. Fingers crossed that it matches me. There was only two shades available and I believe this was the darker shade, so hopefully it matches me. Then I got two of their matte lipsticks. These are pretty creamy and velvety in texture and the color is pretty vivid. So I got ice orange and vintage red. This is what they look like on my hand. Next, I got a lip tint. This color is in Enjoy Sunshine. It has more of an orange undertone. And this lip tint is more of a moisture rich lip tint and it also contains fruity extract. And the last product I got is another lip product. This is the Coke Bear lip tint. It has this really cute snow globe at the top with the Coke Bear holding its little Coke bottle. And the color I got in this was number one red label. This color is more of like an orangey red. So that's what I bought from their collection. They do have more colors, but I feel like these colors are the ones that I would mostly use. I was also given a free little Coca-Cola makeup bag, pretty cute, and free makeup wipes. That's pretty good, I always need my makeup wipes. So let's start off with the cushion foundation. I've already moisturized and prepped my skin, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply, 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 apply the cushion foundation. I can't speak today. Before I get started, I'm just gonna have a quick sip of my tea. <sighs> my throat is feeling a little bit, <sighs> I feel like I'm, I'm getting sick, you know what I mean? You know when you feel it? I'm getting that. Okay, so the Cushion Foundation, I love the packaging of this. It feels really nice and it's really well made. It doesn't feel cheapy. So I'm just gonna go straight into the cushion. Let's pray that it matches me. It's a little bit light, but I feel like I can make this work. Oh, the coverage is quite good actually. It has more of medium coverage. It's a shame that they only have two shades. And if you're collaborating with a brand like Coke, which is pretty much like known everywhere in the world, I feel like you should at least have a few more shades. But then again, it is a cream brand and you know the drill with them. They don't have a lot of colors in their range generally. Okay, so so far I am liking the look of this besides the color. If it was a little bit darker, I feel like I would like it a little bit more. The texture of this is quite thin, but I feel like the coverage is really good. Um, it doesn't feel like I have much on, but I do feel like this is going to kind of slip and slide a little bit because it feels really watery. Now I've done half my face, you guys can see the difference. You can see that it does cover up a lot of any of those discolorations. I look really pasty and white on camera, but I feel like I can get away with it. I'll just pop a bit of blush and bronze and stuff on to make this work. So far, I quite like the texture. I'm just a little bit worried if it's gonna last or not, because to be honest, generally, a lot of the cushion foundations don't last that long. The only cushions I really like are from Laneige. But then again, you know these cushions, I feel like the actual product itself doesn't last very long. I feel like I use it for like, I don't know, like three weeks and it's like empty or something. So I'm like constantly pressing down and not a lot of product is coming out. So I don't feel like you get a lot of product in these cushions, which I don't like. Okay, I'm having a closer look and I feel like this cushion foundation accentuates my texture around here. I don't know if you guys can see, like, 
I know it's meant to be like an oil control cushion foundation, but I just feel like it kind of clings onto a lot of, um, I don't know, texture. Doesn't look that good up, up close. But then on camera, my skin probably looks really nice. But when I go in really close, I could just see a little bit of patchiness. And I feel like when I try to like blend over it, it just gets worse. Ooh. Let me just quickly do my brows and set my makeup and then I'll be right back. I'm back, I filled in my brows and I've done my eye makeup. For my brows, I use the Laneige Eyebrow Cushion, the two-tone one. This one, I felt like last time you guys liked my darker brow look, so that's what I've done today. I've done my brows a little bit darker and bolder. For my eyes, I use the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. Let me open it up. I love all the colors in here, so I ended up using like that reddish color, Galactic. And I kind of mix like wavelength and beam for the center. So that's a quick breakdown of my eyes. I'm going to try out the lip products next. What color should I try? I really liked Ice Orange. So let's just try that one first. I did apply a little bit of lip balm before. So let's hope this doesn't really cling onto my dry areas. So far it feels okay, it feels quite thin, and the colour payoff is great. I'm just going to use my finger to blend the rest in. Oopsie, it kind of went out a little bit. I'm just going to go in with a cotton tip and just blend out the edges. I just like doing that trick because it gives me like a more softer look so it's not as bold and defined I guess. It looks more worn in. It looks quite nice in the lips but if you look really closely it does cling on to any dry areas so you need to really exfoliate your lips or moisturise and apply a lot of lip balm before putting this because it will accentuate all those little lines and dry bits. Surprisingly my lips aren't that bad today. I do feel like this colour does go well with my eye makeup today. I did that deliberately because we're doing a Coca-Cola makeup look, so I chose more of that ready, warmer tones. But yeah, so this is Ice Orange. I'm going to quickly remove this and then apply Vintage Red. This one is also a really nice shade. I feel like it's a better version of my natural lip colour and I could wear this pretty much like day or night. I just feel like it looks quite natural. However, I feel like now this is the second matte lipstick I've popped on. So I feel like it's a lot more drying. Like it doesn't glide on as smoothly and nicely unless you have like lip balm underneath or something. But I feel like this one is a little bit drying. A good thing about that is that it doesn't transfer as much, so that's what you get for putting on one of those dry matte lipsticks. This shade is Enjoy the Sunshine. So this is more like, I feel like it's more of a liquid lipstick. Ooh, like a watery liquid lipstick. It feels quite light. Does it smell like Coke? It kind of does smell like Coke. This one actually smells like those little fizzy coke lollies. So the texture of this lip tint is in between like a liquid lipstick but a really thin runny formula, sort of really watery. So a liquid lipstick mixed with a lip tint. So I feel like the colour payoff is quite nice. I like that this one went on a lot smoother than the lipsticks. I'm also digging the shade a lot more as well. I might use it as a cheek colour. Shall we try that? Let's just pop a little small dots. Oh, that side was a lot. And just going with my fingers. Oh, that just faded away like super quick. Let's pop a little bit more on. It blends out really nicely. Voila, we have a cheek colour. I think so far this is my favourite shade and my favourite texture so far. This is the Lucky Last product I'm trying. This is another lip tint, the one with the cute snow globe. So this color is Red Label. Okay, now this one is just super runny. This is more of that traditional lip tint. 
I can just tell that this one's going to stain my lips more so than the others. This one actually looks more reddish on my lips. When I swatched it on my hand, it came out more orange. In terms of texture and how it feels on my lips, this one definitely feels the best. However, I feel like with these type of lip tints, when you apply it, and then like, especially how I'm applying it, like mostly in the center and blending it out, it just looks really, really patchy. So you can't get that nice worn in look. It just looks like, I don't know, it looks like a mess to me. It looks like I have tomato sauce around my lips. Let me just try to get it more even. I think that looks much better actually. This one is definitely catered more towards those of you who have drier lips and looking for something a lot more moisturizing. It glides on really nicely. I feel like it's really thin, watery, so it doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips. It doesn't cling on to any dry patches. My lips look pretty nice actually. I might actually leave this one on for the rest of the day. Now that I've zoomed out a little bit more, I can kind of see the difference between my body and my face. My body's a lot more warmer and more yellowy and my face is just a little bit pasty. So I might just bronze up because I don't want to apply cushion everywhere around my neck and my shoulders because that's a lot of cushion. I'm just going to warm up with this Becca Be A Light palette. Anyways, I'll just leave my face like this and see how long it lasts and then I'll come back and share with you my final thoughts. I am back. I was out all day and it is about 10.30 p.m. now. I've had this makeup on for at least like eight and a half hours. Here's a close-up of my skin. I feel like the cushion foundation did rub off around like my nose area and especially around my mouth because I did have dinner and we went to the movies and I snacked a lot. Alpha ate a whole bar of chocolate by himself. I did get a little bit shiny, as you can see around my T-zone. So I'm not too sure if that cushion really controlled much oil because I normally look like this at the end of the day anyway. Again, you can still see all that texture there. I just feel like this foundation does not smooth out your skin. It just makes it look really bumpy and rough and just accentuates anything that you're kind of concerned about already. My lips though, I feel like the tint did come off but it stained my lips so I still have colour there. And like I said before, I did have dinner so you know most of it rubbed off but this is what's left. It's just a stain. Now my overall first impression of the Face Shop Coca-Cola collab, I am kind of like not loving it so much. I mean, the cushion foundation is definitely a no-go for me. I just feel like it didn't make my skin look smoother. It just made it look worse. The lipsticks are okay. They're not like the best lipsticks I've ever tried, but I do like the shades that they do have. In saying that, the lipsticks are more expensive than the lip tints. So I feel like these are better value. I think one was $17 and the lipsticks were $20 each. Actually, this one is $21, so it's a little bit more expensive than the lipsticks, but I feel like this tint that I had on all day did last, and I really like the color of this one. So my two favorite, I say, would be these two lip tints. Overall, I'm not super impressed with this collection. I just really like the packaging. The packaging got me, guys. I'm a sucker for it. Now, if I had to rate all these products, I would probably give it an average of five out of 10. It's the cushion foundation that really let me down. This is just not great. I wouldn't advise spending your money on this. So that is it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I have got to get to bed soon. I am super tired. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me already. And yeah, I will speak to you guys next time. Bye.